Today we're going to see how to create a report field, a field that looks at other uh, fields within the ticket and calculates a new value based on those fields. And we're going to use that, and we're going to do that today using power fields from C prime uh, and the SIL simple issue language. So what we can do is we can just add a custom field and we're going to look for the SIL script custom field. And we'll call this um, uh, issue completeness score. And I can't spell very, very well. Okay. So we've created the custom field. We're not going to add it to any tabs. This is more for reporting, not something that the user would ever be able to go in and enter any values into. But now we need to actually add a script so we do that by configuring the field and then we can just edit sill script right here in the configuration screen all right so i'm just going to write a little note say calculate the issue score and we'll just say something and um i should mention that this again is already within the context of an issue because it is a field associated with an issue so we don't have to specify which issue we're referring to we can just say things like uh, if is uh, not null and say assigning And then we could enter an action here. But what I want to do is say um, give myself a number like uh, score. Because if any of these are true, we'll say it's good. If two are true, we'll say it's better. If all three are true, it's best. But we'll just do that with a score. Uh, so we'll say equals zero. Uh, score increase increment by 10 and then we'll say if the due date isn't null we'll get another 10 points And then we'll say if the description isn't null, get another 10 points. And then we can just say if uh, score is less than 10, we'll say return, and that's the keyword, this is what is going to show up in our field, say bad, I was looking for a better word, but we can just say bad, you get the idea, else if score is greater than equal to 10 and score is less than 20 say return 
OK. Else if score is greater than equal to 20, oops, and score is less than 30, call good. Then we don't need to specify the last condition because it will be the only thing possible. Say great. We'll check our code. Two errors found. Oh, I need to return great. Can't just say great. Looks good. So let's see if it worked. So we need to come over to our project examples. And we'll add our custom field into our columns here. And oh man, so far we're only doing okay. How did I even make it that far? I guess I have an assignee. So if I come in here, and let's add a description. Okay. Oh, now we're good. Great. So then let's add a due date. I could probably have done that from there, but too late now. We'll make it due tomorrow. There you go. We're great. So that's a really simple and quick way of kind of creating like a calculated reporting field. Uh, there's a ton of other ways you can do this. Um, you can use date values, you can use number values based on the field. There's uh, just a tremendous amount of possibilities uh, using this type of field. Um, thanks for watching.